And so he comes to this game, number 10, on his schedule against the Fighting Irish of Notre Dame, a team that matches up pretty well against Penn State. The Irish, having won four in a row, all five of their victories have been at home in South Bend. They are 0-3 on the road, and this game is a season maker for them. The Nittany Lions, on the other hand, number one and the home folks love them. All but two of their games have been very close. A couple of them breathtakingly so. A win today would seemingly solidify their top ranking. The temperature is about 38 degrees, and they do expect it to get a little warmer as the day goes along. The wind uh, is not particularly troublesome, gusting at times to 15, maybe 20. We are ready to go as referee William McDonald says, play ball. And it's on between the Irish and the Lions. And it goes to Tim Brown, a sophomore out of Dallas, Texas, a wide receiver, and he does not get back to the 20. The Lions nail him uh, at about the 16 as Burline opens at quarterback with Pinkett behind him. Alan Pinkett, a brilliant career. Frank Stams is a big sophomore who may play an important role for the Irish today. Reggie Ward, an outside receiver at 5'11", 180, and Tim Brown. Pinkett has had some big, big ball games against Penn State, and so for that matter has Burline. A quick pop to Brown, get him into one-on-one, -on -one, and he's up to about the 27 and close to a first down for Notre Dame. Tom Reeder is the big tight end. He's 6'7 and 245. Tom Durger at tackle, 270. Tim Scannell, whose home is here in State College, 280. And Ron Plant's at center, weighs in at 265. Sean Heffern at guard, 265. And Mike Perino. Now Stams is back in the lineup at the fullback spot as they go. A first down from the eye with Pinkett carrying for the first time. And he'll have maybe two yards on that carry. Defensively for Penn State, and this is a basic strength of this team, White, Russo, Johnson, Graham, Conlon, Bauer, Alexander, really that's five linebackers because White and Graham have played at the backer spot before. Cobbs, Hamilton, Zordich, and Isom, they are tough. It is second down, call it about eight and a half. As Verline puts a little off the snap, clears his pass to the tight end, Reader, and the Irish are at midfield. On first down, they put the ball at the Notre Dame 49, and Burline throwing on first down, again has his tight end wide open. Reader loses his footing at the 40, but he's got another Notre Dame first down. Ball is just inside the 40 of Penn State. Burline hands it off to Allen Pinkett, and Pinkett from Sterling, Virginia, is wrestled second down and eight at the Penn State 38. Berline rolls out to throw. Again, his tight end is available to him, and the catch is made. It is the fullback, Frank Stams. Berline will have the first down, and the outcome of it. It's first down. Notre Dame moving the ball very efficiently in the opening possession, but Berline loses his footing, and falls. Penn State shows blitz. Now the backer drops out of there. Shane Conlon not playing today. Slight injury. Down the middle goes the pass to about the 26-yard line. Caught by Reggie Ward. Picked up two on the ground. It is third down and six. Burline swings it out to Pinkett. Pinkett is hit at the 25. Shakes that one. Keeps pounding ahead to about the 21. He, the junior out of Centerville, Ohio. This is a 37-yard attempt. Alvon Weil holds. Something happened. I don't know if it was bubbled or what. The ball is thrown downfield, and it is incomplete. And I guess Von Weil simply couldn't get it down. Out for its first possession. And at quarterback, it is John Schaefer. D.J. Dozier starts left, cuts right, gets from... About the 21 up to the 22. John Schaefer, the junior out of Cincinnati, he was a student at Moeller before Jerry Faust left for Notre Dame. D.J. Dozier, the tailback. Tim Manoa opens at fullback because of injury to Steve Smith. Eric Hamilton is a flanker, 6'1", 195. And Ray Roundtree, the speech... We have already seen the wet ball cause some trouble for the Irish. They could not handle the snap on a field goal try. Dozier
Crozier now running over the left side. Dean Demidio is the tight end, 225, big fella. Stan Clayton at tackle, 265. Mitch Farrat, 250 at guard. Radisek opens at center today. Keith is 250. Todd Moles, 260 at guard. And Dan Morgan, 6'6 six, six and 270. Third down and about five. It'll be a short five. You see the rain continuing to fall. Not raining hard, but steady. Schaefer, deep drop, trying to set up a screen. Finally gets the ball to the fullback, Manoa, and Manoa will have a first down as he breaks it all the way to the 35. So from just over the 35, the Lions have their first, first down of the ball game, this being their first possession. D.J. Dozier wiggles around in second and will pick up about eight yards. Rick Dorsey is one of the two, the three down linemen, actually. Mike Kiernan. Uh, listed in there, though he may not play a whole lot. Notre Dame coming out with really two true down linemen and Jeff Kuntz being the other big guy, but they've got five backers in there. This is a defense that has performed very well for them. They lost uh, Dengens and Klein, two of their big men, to injury, and this is the uh, fullback Manoa, and there's nothing fancy about 48-yard line, first down Lions. Schaefer rolling it to throw. Looks downfield, pulls it down, and turns back for a couple of yards. And Schaefer, what he's done this year. You can see he's a winner, those intangibles, Keith. Second down and eight from midfield. Blitz coming. Oh, did Manoa pick off the blitzer? And DJ Dozier picks up about seven or eight yards. Third down and three, six minutes to go. First quarter, no score. Schaefer slips a little bit as he sets the throw, gets it back away, and it is caught by Dean Demidio, the tight end. Dan Clayton, 74. 74, Clayton, that's right. 59, Graham, two new starters. Fullback, pounding away on the first down carry. That was a gain of four by Manoa. Make it second down, six. From the 28, Schaefer back again. Goes underneath the bit to Dozier out of the backfield, and he's fighting for the marker. It is the second effort. Well, the Irish drove it down and missed the field goal try. And State coming right back. Schaefer has a lot of time. He loops it. Got it. Touchdown. Dozier. It's on the season. All 21 of them. That snap was high, but Kisner, a quarterback, was able to pull it down and hold it well for him, and he knocks it right through. And it's Penn State, seven to nothing. Seems unfair, but that's the, that's the, the policy. Lies are too hard to come by. <laughs> yeah. Goal line, yeah. Alvin Miller. Running cautiously, but running well, almost to the 30-yard line. Irish come up now first down at the 29 in their first possession. 11 plays, they went 62 yards, missed on the field goal. And this pass is thrown down the middle, intended for Pinkett in the first quarter. Run Pinkett and comes up to around the 33 yard. Third down and six now for the Irish. And State almost jumped, but the defensive tackle able to get back on his own side. Burline has a lot of time to look. But in the process of getting all that time, I suspect somebody may have helped. <laughs> oh, my. That's Bart. Third down and 16. Very loose coverage. I'm in state. They pick up the blitzer. Burlides passes away. Good to Tim Brown at the 40-yard line. They go deep. And Duffy has... Uh, they picked on Duffy all season long, but... Obviously, the team is 9-0, so he's held up. Burline looks down the middle with it and throws it hard. Pinkett can't pull it in. It's a little bit of the defensive philosophy we saw last week at LSU. Yes, same time, Keith. They bump together. Burline drops the ball. Burline. Oh, they double coverage, Keith. Double coverage. Time. There's movement. The snap count, and the defense went at wet field. They're looking now at about third and 12. Burline again has time. Passes down the middle from behind. The intended receiver just a little. 42 punts. He's averaging 41 and a half yards. That is not a good one. But it does take a bit of a Notre Dame bounce. At first and 20.
25 from the 20 as a result of the foul. And John Schaefer gives to Dozier. Dozier shakes off a tackler behind the line of scrimmage. Moved it out to the 22. So it's second down and 23. And Schaefer gives it back to Dozier, and he'll have another couple of yards, maybe three. A big one for Dave McLean and his folks. Big one. On third down, Schaefer back. Goes down the middle for his tight end, Demidio. First down, Penn State at the 49. Dozier. Well, he's able to hold his footing and make three little jukes. And the first quarter is over. Penn State leading 7 0. Look at the day John Schaefer has had. Last week he was off, had a bad game, and started to lose his confidence, Keith, but not today. They've got the tight end, Demidio, in motion. He goes short, down the middle. Number 30 goes deep, Eric Hamilton. Third down. Dozier hands the ball off to Timpson, pitch it back to Schaefer. Schaefer hit as he throws, and it is out of bounds. The defenders as well as the seat. Bruno is in the punt for Penn State, and the punt is good enough into the win. <laughs> Berline hands the ball off to Allen Pinkett, and from the 12, Pinkett fights his way up to about the 15. Second down and seven. Little lob up in the middle. It goes to Brown, the wide receiver. Tim Brown gets close to the 20. Third down, need about two. Gonna try to throw for it. Tight end out there on the sidelines. Go underneath with it. Bad pass. Ball is thrown behind Tim Brown. It was a 26-yarder. Pressure on him. Gets it away. Low kick. Coach takes it. Moving at the 43. Comes up the sidelines. Crosses midfield. And he'll be down around the Irish 43. Penn State leading 7-0. Second quarter. And the ball to Steve Smith, who has replaced Manoa at the fullback position. That'd be a big ball game. Both teams. Second down, call it about six as Schaefer drops the throw. Has his hand. Pass is good. Down to about the 23-yard line to Daryl Giles, the senior. Schaefer, the first passing so far. First down at the Irish 23. This is Big Smith. He drops that shoulder. Name of the game, Keith. Second down, seven. This is Dozier. Dorsey grabs him, but DJ is going to find his way to the 16. And this is Greasy. They need about three yards on third down. Schaefer. Throws it out of bounds. Steve Bobby Dodd, the coach, my coach, said they looked like one of Brawls in the Kisner holds perfectly. Manka nails it. And at 11 04 to go in the first half, Penn State adds its lead over Notre Dame to 10 to nothing. These people are Brown and the Miller for the Irish. Wynn's going to knock that down a little short. Picked up by Brown. Oh, he's got a good block. Tries to get to the corner. And he's still going. There's one other thing that happens. They trail 10-0 at 10.55 to go in the first half. Burline stays in their quarterback. They've not gone to their second unit. When they do, they'll probably go with a complete unit. This is Pinkett. And Alan Pinkett, who has had some big days. But... I guess game day, the adrenaline got the flowing and the pain went away. This is Pinkett, and he almost popped it. He's got a first down as he gets close to Pinkett, Jim. It's first down for the Irish now as Burline rolls and throws, and the pass is caught. The pass is caught by Stams, the fullback. This is Stams, the fullback, big and strong, and he pounds his way for the first down. Miller goes to the top of the screen now as Burline settles on the center. Pinkett, and if he'd let it go sooner, he'd have had it. But it's 
Dead Alexander kicks off the pass, and Penn State works from the 34 of the Irish, and Schaefer's throw is incomplete in 10. Oh, just inside the 35, near the 34. Hamilton, the man in motion, give it a Dozier. Big hole for Dozier. And it's first down, Penn State at the Notre Dame 17. First down, Penn State. Nothing there that time. Two expertly coached teams, rich tradition in Nebraska and Oklahoma. Second down, 11, the loss of a yard. There's Fad Dozier again, and DJ's finding daylight as he goes down close to the 10. But they've got to put the big guy back in on third down and four. Penn State threatening again, leading 10 to nothing. Schaefer drops the throw. Dozier's going to the corner of the end zone. No, he's out of bounds. Massimo Menka, 27-yard field goal try, hit from 32 just a few minutes ago. High snap, Kisner gets it down. Gets it up and good. Six minutes and 38 seconds to play in the first half. And Penn State now with a touchdown and two field goals, leading 13-0. Score, that was in General Bob Naylor's playbook in 1928. Still holds true. Low skidding kick will be fielded uh, at the eight-yard line by Alvin Miller. Miller gets back to about the 25, the full-scale, full-unit substitution. The story on Andrew Zach Keith is he has more movement to get outside with the ball. This goes to Alan Pinkett for a sweep, his biggest run of the day. And he's out close to the 40. Andrew Sack, other than Burline. First down at the 40, Pinkett 38 yards with the rest of the team, minus one, despite that one good one on the By Stams and Andrew Zach coming in off the bench. I'm sure Joe doesn't either. He's so excited about the way he's performing. Andrew Zach gives the ball to Stams, hitting the backfield. Stams fights and can get only back to the line of scrimmage. Well, we met his uh, next uh, youngest son, Jay, yesterday and had a nice visit with him. Third down, close to 12, and the whistles are blowing as out into the huddle. They only had about 13 seconds, and uh, they just heard in 17. Quick drop by Andrew Zach. He does not have anybody to throw to. Now he wings it off over here to Stams, the fullback, and he short hops it. Catch it. He caught it. Gets it away. Not a bad punt under the circumstances. Back at the 25-yard line. It's Coach with the ball. And Coach will come back up close to the 35. First down at the 35 for the Lions. And you've got Manoa back in there at fullback now. Lined up ahead of D.J. Dozier. And Schaefer gives the ball to Dozier. Dozier is still working. And finally winds up with about three yards. And it's second down and seven. DJ again. Yard short of the first down. About that. There is a thing called the law of averages. This is from Noah for a first down at midfield. Clark is a 195-pounder and a hard runner. Six-yard average for a try. They put him up in a slot and give the ball to Manoa. And Manoa's going to have a couple of three yards on that carry. They're rattling around beneath the head, between the hedges. And there's a little good match there. Schaefer deep with it. It's tipped away. Just barely. And when that clean shirt shows up, he's really obvious now, isn't he? <laughs> Back goes Schaefer again to throw. Third down and seven. That's all day. Throws complete. The ball is caught by Ray Roundtree. And he's out of bounds. Interesting that Schaefer up to that point had been one for seven in the second quarter. But again, he makes the big play when he needs it. Dozier's back in the lineup. Manoa carries the ball. He's inside the 10 to the 9. Schaefer to Dozier. Dozier dozes his way to... I cannot explain, as a coach, I cannot explain why they haven't won more games when they're behind, coming from behind. Most teams can do a pretty good job of it. This is Dozier. And DJ is maybe at the two, maybe inside the two. But the time is being kept there. It is being kept there, but, uh, but the game clock is wrong. They hand it off inside, and there's your touchdown. Steve Smith. coming on. Snap is handled, the kick is up, and it's good. And the clock now shows 52 seconds and 
Penn State out in front, 20 to nothing. Penn State will kick off. The Irish have Brown and Miller deep. Keith, did they teach me that attack? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure they tried. <laughs> oh, I can't. <laughs> Kick it low, laid it flat on the ground, and let it roll around back there, and finally it is picked up by Tim Brown, who almost falls down, but is finally thrown down. The ball comes loose right on the sideline. One number that's so impressive in the last four ball games, Penn State has gotten 21 turnovers from the opponents. That's more than five a game. Schaefer trying to load it up to go big, but throws underneath instead, and Dozier playing against number one. Not working out that way. Second down and ten, Schaefer back. Ducks away from the pressure. Now throws it, and it's caught by Hamilton. Down at the 11-yard line. Fakes the ball. Very close call. Very questionable, but the official was right there. <laughs> it is loss of down. It's third down and uh, eh, 14. Paper again all day. Away it goes and it's intercepted. And no, it is not. It'll be just inside the 40. And he's missed so that that will be. He's four out of five. Yeah, yeah. He's got enough leg. He made it. during the halftime. Onside kick. Ball just rolling, squibbed down there, rolls dead, finally picked up. And time is gone in the first half of play. As the Fighting Irish of Notre Dame are in trouble, Penn State leads them 23 to nothing. And we're ready to go as Masamomenko will kick off to Notre Dame. He keeps it low, keeps it on the ground, rolling around in the water. It is picked up short by Mark Green, and Mark Green, a speedster, trying to, as they come out with Alan Pinkett and Frank Stamm, pretty much the same offensive alignment that started the ball game. And Notre Dame uh, received to start the game as well as start the second half of play. And that's exactly the way it's worked so far in yes. this game. Berline drops back the throw on second down, shoots it into Ward. Reggie Ward, uh, so he's ahead of his pace. On third down and short, they give the ball to Alan Pinkett and the young man. That's what he's just done today. Up man, stands the fullback, big fella spins away, and uh, he runs well when he gets into the open. It's the second down and the long three. As Berline drops the throw on second down, goes deep down the middle with it for Brown. It's picked off by Ray Isom. Second interception for Penn State, and Ison brings the Lions well back up the field. He's still going. He's got some help now, and from behind, he is caught and thrown down by Tim Brown. He comes all the way back to the 32-yard line of Notre Dame. Call it the 33. He actually is closer there. Give it to D.J. Dozier, and Dozier got tangled up a little bit as he and Manoa at 6-1 and 2-20. Wally Klein showed up for a brief time, coming off an injured knee. Played some in relief of Dorsey. This is Manoa going outside. And on second down and seven, ahead of Smith. Third down and about six. As Schaefer stands around, waiting and waiting, and finally they break down the protection, and he gets his shoulders turned upfield, and there's a pretty good collision off the field of play. Dead just... ball foul. Late hit, out of bounds, defense, first down. First down for Penn State. This is Dozier. Inside the 10, a whole lot of folks have gone home. See the taillights glimmering down the highway. Dozier spins around inside to about the 6. Got the big backs in there, Manoa and Smith, the two big fullbacks. Notre Dame encroaches on the play. Schaefer's got a free one, throws it, and the pass is caught inside the five by Steve Smith. When they 
Offside. Defense. Defense. Third down. Repeated. Half yard. When Penn State. Third down. The ball is just inside the four. They go to the up man, Manoa. And the surge behind the offensive line should have the first down. And it's first and goal at the three. Here goes Smith to about the one. Just doing an outstanding job along with the other line. In the middle, the surge touchdown. John Schaefer will get this one. Well, he deserves it, Chief. His performance today has been outstanding. Good, good play of the run the sneak on the, on the short yard. Magnus, extra point is good. So with eight minutes and 56 seconds to play in the third quarter, it's now a 30 to nothing game. As you see the stats on the in touchdown march after the interception. And here's the ball on the ground, rolling around. Greasy Pig picked up by Alvin Miller. And Miller fights beyond the 30. First down for the Irish as Berline drops back and gets his pass away to the sideline. Pat it down and almost on second down and 10 here for the Irish. Pinkett has been held in check so far today. He's got the ball right now and he'll pick up maybe six on that carry. But mostly basic football improving every game. pressure after him, throws on the run, and this one is intercepted by Michael Zordich, and Zordich is going to bring it back big. Finally down at the 50, a penalty flag comes out, and I think he got a face mask to me. And Matt Kisner, in at quarterback, he's a junior from Youngwood, Pennsylvania. And the ball is given to Smith. Smith will pick up about three yards. This is Clark. He's, he's hard to handle. He's I'm reminded by Dave Brunson that Fresno State has a tie, but no losses. Matt Kisner rolls it out. Want to take off with it. And pick up about five yards. Playing a flawless game today in, in bad weather. A soft field against Notre Dame and dominating. This is Clark. And they're just They'll just do this until Notre Dame. Uh, they didn't say something. They just turnovers, interceptions, penalties. It's a long time. Just everything against them. Well, well, Plus Penn State, great play. Yeah. <laughs> While it's been going bad for them, the other side is playing a near-perfect football game. And on second down. The surge doesn't stop the media. D.J. Dozier is back into the ball game as Kisner sets up and whips one to the end zone incomplete. It was intended for Ray Roundtree. With the extra point conversion, this will make it 15 points for him today, and he's got it. So at 4.07 to go in the third quarter, it is now 33-0. Penn State. Notre Dame team for the past. They seemingly have been overmatched here today. This is Alvin Miller. Hit at the 20 and comes on ahead to about the 23. Burline is back at quarterback. Andrew Zach is not in. He was warming up but did not come. As Burline drops straight back. The Irish trailing. They've got to go to the pass. Burline is considered the better passer and he short hops that one in front. All these players now know what the situation is, and they're feeling it, no matter how badly they try to get it out of their mind. All right, Kenny, here's Alan Pinkett running the ball out to about the 26. Uh, every down, so it makes it tough on Notre Dame pass. Pulls it down, and takes a pretty good whack today of 26, 38, and 41. This one is blocked. Number 51 got a piece of it, Matt Judson. Keith Johnson has been back there four straight times and barely missed the block. I don't know why. Personal foul during the return. First down. First down. Clark and Smith in the backfield. 
to the Lions. Give it to uh, Smith, and he is caught behind the line of scrimmage and dropped. <laughs> they, had, uh, they had they were running the old wing tee in 1956 and went to the Rose Bowl. Leave the beat Oregon State. Tommy Procro. Pass underthrown and incomplete. Right now, let's go back to Keith Jackson for a moment. All right, Jimmy. Here's Kisner rolling out and being dragged down. And uh, Joe Paterno, he told me yesterday that he supports, supports a change in the field goal rule. He just hit it. And now he's got 18 points on the day, and it's 36 to nothing. Pressure on the uh, Penn State quarterback early in the game. It's different. This kick is high in the air by Manka instead of squirting it along the ground. It's handled by Tim Brown. And Brown, the wide receiver, is out of bounds. Whether this means uh, Notre Dame will go back and change tactics perhaps a little bit here, we don't know. Andrew Zach rolls it out. He is not a bad runner. And he's going to pull it down and turn it upfield and get from the 30 up to about the 33. The Mark Green is in there now at a wide spot for Notre Dame. Kick him out quickly. He's got a clean shirt on. Picks the ball instead to pick it. Now it makes a cut. But you can see the problem that a quick back like Pickett is having. We played three quarters with Penn State leading 36 nothing. Back after this commercial message and a word from our local stations. We go to the final quarter of play and Notre Dame tie the all-time NCAA record. He had eight against Penn State the last two years. Well, he's got it and promptly drops it, kicks it. The ball rolls into the crowd and looks like Penn State's going to come out with it. That is the fifth turnover in the ball game for Notre Dame. They are in business at the Irish 38. First down. Kisner gives that ball and we've got a fresh back in. Kevin Woods. Woods, 180-pound sophomore. Well, this was about two, uh, well, maybe now three and a half weeks ago. So they started a drill as... Uh, Blair Thomas now carries for Penn State. And the dream come through. Yes. A defensive lineman to score a touchdown. And the winning touchdown. Yes, it was. On third down and long, they stay with the ground game, giving the ball to Cooper. And Cooper will not get the first down. They do whatever they wanted to. At five minutes to go in the game, Bruno's second punt of the day. Hangs up and bounces. It was short of the receivers. All right, Al, thank you very much for that. And we're going to take you now back to State College or University Park, if you prefer, in Pennsylvania, where Penn State, the number one team, is leading Notre Dame 33-6 or 36-6 in the closing moments. Here's Keith Jackson. All right, Jim, uh, Notre Dame got its touchdown. Five plays, 52 yards. Uh, there was a personal foul call that played a large role in the Irish being able to get into the end zone. Tight end Andy Heck made a big catch for them, and then Hiawatha Francisco from two yards out dove over the top and got the Irish on the scoreboard, but the extra point try was blocked. And the Lions now, after a personal foul call against Notre Dame, has the ball first down at the Irish 23 with John Toogood in there at quarterback. And I think you can see yourself that somebody at the top of the picture left and ran up 16 more in the second quarter, led 23 to nothing at halftime, and they have never looked back as Masa Momenka now has kicked uh, field, five field goals and uh, three extra points because the field now is really a muddy mess. It's rained most of the day, and reserves now are playing out the contest with less than a minute to play. But it has been indeed an outstanding performance. They have one game remaining against the Pitt Panthers next Saturday in Pittsburgh. This should be the last.